Meet the P that's going to take your V. We were just starting to think about producing things and Ryan's book was coming out. I read the book and we took a meeting with Ryan and then we started working together. I have a thing, it's called cerebral palsy. What's that? Cerebral palsy is a disability resulting from damage to the brain before, during, or shortly after birth and outwardly manifested through muscular and coordination. Special was based on my book, which was based on my life. It's basically about my experience being gay and disabled, being marginalized in society, and the things you do to kind of get by. It's got substance to it. It's got meat to it. I think one of the most challenging things about Special is actually fitting everything into this little nugget of goodness. There is so much funny, there's so much story, there's so many incredible characters. Ryan is kind of a classic underdog. He just like wants a job, wants a healthy relationship with his mom, wants a boyfriend, but there are a million obstacles kind of preventing him from getting those things. Hey, new girl, I'm Kim. So the personality of Kim, I wanted someone that really like snapped, crackle, popped, and was just comfortable in her own skin. Everything that Ryan wasn't. Like at first glance, it looks like Kim has her shit together and she's his Sherpa, but I think she learns just as much from him. They understand what it's like to feel like you're a fish out of water. It's, it's really easy to laugh or cry along with them because it's not hard to put yourself in their shoes. Take off all your clothes and tell me everything you love about your body. That's a pass. Come on! I love my boobs, and my nipples have a very strong female POV, like they could basically have their own Netflix special. I think by the time we meet Karen, there's smoke coming out of the hood. It's fixed. Karen's never thought about what she wants for one second because it's always been about Ryan, 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 and I think that she's comforted by that. This is actually a codependent relationship that has to be codependent. Yeah. She ties your shoelaces, she feeds you. That's a really valuable aspect of their dynamic, and actually having to walk away from each other when there is still a lot that you need from me. And I do walk away from you, and it takes a lot. I do. When we first started working with Ryan on adapting his book for some sort of screen version of it, none of us thought that Ryan would be in it. We were not pitching myself as the star, and we did that because I wasn't an actor, I was a writer, but like I really loved acting. The camera loves that guy's face, and his eyes, and his glasses, and you just want to hug him. Every actor wanted to tell this story. They all just fit like a beautiful jigsaw puzzle. The issues that we're dealing with are mature issues, and there's something really uh, beautiful and profound in that. And it normalizes a lot of things that I think aren't normalized on TV. A disabled person dating and having sex, a curvier girl being confident in a bathing suit, older, new love. Yeah, I'm sorry. I, oh. Who is older? Oh, I'm sorry. Oh. Did she say a word? Wow. I just hope everybody just enjoys watching it as much as I do, enjoys watching Ryan act out this journey, because it's, it's really great.